Hi, I'm Maggie Parker. I am the chairman of the board of directors of Public Art Reston, and I'm here at the Glade Drive underpass. I'm very pleased to be with a good friend of mine, Paul Thomas, who is uh, a native Restonian. How are you, Paul? I'm doing great, and I love being here in my old haunts where I used to be a, quite a bit. I live just down the road. That is, that's terrific. Um, it really is fun to be here. The last time we were here, it was a gorgeous, sunny fall day. Yeah. We were doing the ribbon cutting for this underpass. So let me tell you a little bit about it. This was the first major project of Public Art Reston and the first underpass that we restored and made artistically beautiful. It's one of the missions of the Public Art Reston Master Plan that has been codified and it's what we as a group work toward. The Master Plan calls for a significant process to design and develop. It calls for a call for artists. So Valerie Taberge, renowned mosaic artist, was selected to put together this program. It worked out beautifully because she was able to engage with the children of Hunter's Woods School, which is just right up the road. So she had dozens of children working with her on the mosaic project, on the design. They did some of the stars and flowers that you see up there. The underpasses, this one is just one of 23 throughout Reston. They were a key part of the infrastructure that Bob Simon, Robert E. Simon, planned when he was doing the master plan of, of roads and transportation through Reston. And Public Art Reston would love to work with Reston Association to uh, maintain and renovate and enhance the other 23 underpasses. We need to raise some money to do that, but it would be a great project. Paul, what do you think of this one? Isn't it gorgeous? You know, I really love it, and, and I really enjoyed coming here for the ribbon cutting with my daughter, who was five years old at the time, and, and it was great sharing that with her, but it was also meaningful to me since I went to Hunter's Woods back in the 70s, and we used to come through this underpass to go and check out the Hunter's Woods Village Center, the original version that was still under construction. Um, this was a great spot for me and my friends, and I think that Valerie's art, it beautifies it, but I also really love that she involved the students in it. I really love that, that they were part of the creation of this. Boy, I totally agree with you. And the most recent underpass that we did over at Colts Neck, that one had 800 citizens involved from all ages, little people to um, our wonderful elderly community. It's that kind of community engagement with the artists that really make these underpass projects sing so strongly about what Reston is. So, boy, happy Founders Day, and thanks for coming out today, Paul. Thanks for having me. You are so welcome.